Today I'm going to show you how we're going to do some simple color work and we'll be making for this project we're going to be making um, white dots on a blue background and we want to make sure that we keep our tension even when we're doing this. We're going to be working flat so it'll be seamed up the back and our back is going to have all these floats on it. We want to make sure that we keep them even and we keep them loose because we don't want our work to pucker. Okay, um, it will pucker a little bit if we're making this pattern for this top one and that's only because right above it we decrease every stitch. So that kind of cinches the fabric in. But you want it to be able to lay flat. You don't want it to be bunched up. So we need to really keep a loose hand and a loose tension when we bring our floats back. So let me show you how we're going to do that. I've just cast it on a couple stitches so that I can work one or two repeats of our chart. You'll be doing the full amount of stitches. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to knit two just with my regular color. And then I'm going to bring in my contrast color. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to the stitch I'm knitting. I'm going to lay my new color on and then I'm just going to knit with the color. So this one I'm going to do two in the brand new color. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do four in my old color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the old color. I'm not going to pull tight and I'm just going to hold it so that it just lays across the back stitches. And then I'm going to knit my four stitches. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop the pink and we're going to pick up our contrast color. And again, we are not going to pull it tight. We're just going to have it lay across the back. And then we're going to knit our two stitches. We can drop that color, pick up our original color, and continue knitting four. So that is our repeat for this row. So it's two of a contrast color and then four of the main color. Okay, whoop. It slid off my needle, so I'm just going to put them back on the needle. Okay, so we're ready for our contrast color. So I pick up the contrast color. And again, I'm not pulling tight. I'm just keeping normal tension. And then I'm going to knit two. Grab my regular color. Knit four. Okay, um, and I didn't cast on enough stitches to do the pattern again, so I'm just going to knit these last four stitches instead of changing on the other end. So now we have, this guy doesn't want to get knitted. Okay, so we've done our one row, and if we look at the back, you'll see we have these floats. And they are not pulled tight, but they're not gaping loose either. So normally when you work color work in the round, you're going to keep all of your tails in the back. But since we're turning back and forth, we're going to have our, for the pearl rows, we're going to actually have our work and our floats in front of us. So we're going to do the next round or the next row, which is where I'm, instead of doing two contrasting, now we're going to do four. So we're going to work up to where we get to the next color. So I'm just going to purl like normal until I get two stitches before my color. Okay. So now I'm going to leave my normal, uh, my main color in front. I'm going to pick up my other color. 
And again, I'm going to make sure I'm not pulling tight. But right here, I'm just going to wrap around. The first one might be awkward because the yarn's coming from a different direction than it normally does. But afterwards, you should be back in the groove of how you're knitting or how you're purling. Okay, I'm going to do one more. And now I'm going to grab my main color. And again, I'm laying it on top of the work. I'm making sure I'm not pulling tight. Everything's kind of held loosely. And then I go ahead and I'm going to knit. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to my contrast color. Gonna grab my main color again. one okay so if we look again you'll see our work is not puckered it's not all bunched together and if we look at the right side of our fabric you don't see anything that's pulling okay so I'll go through one more row with you So we're going to go in and the way that I purl my stitches get put on backwards so that's why I'm going into the back loop but um, you would go into your front loop like normal so I'm going to show you this way okay so we're going to drop the main color pick up this color pick up one Okay. then we're going to pick up the main color again and again we don't want to wrap too tightly you want to keep it loose and go back to our contrast color Okay, so that's pretty much all that you're doing. My yarn that I picked out has decided it likes to fray. Okay. It's a very soft yarn, but unfortunately it keeps splitting as I'm working with it. Okay, so you just go back and forth between your main color and your, um, your contrasting color. You want to keep your floats about even with the tension on the back. So if we look at our work from the back, we can kind of see it does get a little bit messy, but as long as you keep the same amount of tension, um, it's not going to look too bad and it'll be on the inside. So you're really not going to see all these floats. Okay. But you want to make sure that they're pretty much even. You can see how they're all pretty much the same width. And none of them are pulled tight. None of them are gaping. Um, and that is how we're going to work our basic color work.